Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another amazing and very very important video for all my CBSE students of class maybe 7th, 8th, 9th, you know, those are the classes in which you study this important topic and quantitative aptitude, you can't just escape this topic. What is the topic? Let me tell you about the topic first. The topic relates to converting pure and mixed recurring decimals to rational form. So I'll tell you more about this, what is this and you can actually do that just by watching the decimal which is given to us. You will tell the answer just by watching it. Yes. Was the entire video? You are going to learn the easiest short trick to convert the pure and mixed recurring decimals to rational forms. And if you have not clicked the subscribe button till now, please do it now and do not forget to you know click the bell shaped icon that is important you know only subscribing will not help you have to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting the notifications of these useful uploads on this amazing mathematics channel so let's get going and see the concept behind these so when we talk about recurring decimals you know what are recurring decimals recurring decimals are like suppose you have three point one six 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 and the six goes on repeating right these recurring decimals they are also called non-terminating right because they do uh, the division does not terminate and the six continues so you can actually represent this in the form of a bar one six and a bar over six means the six keeps on repeating so the bar is used to show the repeating digits. Likewise, if you have 5.187 and 87 is repeating. So it means 5.1 is not repeating, 87, 87, 87 keeps on repeating. Now this is the standard notation of recurring decimals. Now why are we calling these decimals as pure and mixed? Now that is also really important before we get into the conversion of these recurring decimals to rational form, P upon Q form. Okay, so let's understand what are the two types of recurring decimals. As you can see in, suppose I write 10 upon 3, right? So 10 upon 3 is 3.333333 3, 3, 3, 3, so on, so 3 repeats itself. After decimal, there is a digit which is repeating or I'll give you one more example. Suppose you have 17.52 and both 5 and 2 keep on repeating 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2. Or I can have 1.038 and all three digits are repeating 0, 3, 8, 0, 3, 8, 0, 3, 8 and so on. So after decimal, if you have everything repeating itself, whether it is a single digit or double digit or a triple digit or for that matter you may have six digits repeating, right? They are called pure recurring decimals. Whereas you may have examples where some of the digits are not repeating. Like suppose you have an example uh, of a mixed recurring decimal which is like 3.109 and the 09 keeps on repeating. So after decimal you have something which is not repeating. It is uh, like 3.1 will stay as it is and only 09 will keep on repeating 3.109090909 and so on. Then this is called a mixed recurring decimal. Why? Because there is a mix of the terms not repeating and terms repeating after decimal. So 407.1625 and only 25 keeps repeating. So 16 is the part which is not repeating and 25 is the part which keeps on repeating. They are called mixed recurring decimals. So both the pure and the mixed recurring decimals, they have a different rule when you want to convert them to rational forms. Just like I told you the example here, 3.3 bar is actually 10 upon 3. If you divide 10 by 3, you will get 3.3333 and 3 keeps on repeating. So this is the decimal form and what about the right hand side 10 upon 3? This is the rational form and therefore 
all the pure and mixed recurring decimals can be converted in the form of a rational number. I hope you got the concept. Now watch the short trick. So we want to find the uh, rational number equivalent of a pure and a mixed recurring decimal. So let's take up the pure decimals first. For the pure recurring decimals, let's take the example of 0 0.5 and I want to uh, have a decimal where 5 keeps on repeating. So 0 0.555555 and so on. Now I want to find the uh, uh, rational equivalent of this. I mean, what is the rational number of which if you do numerator divided by denominator, you should get 0 0.55555. Okay. Watch the rule. The rule is take this uh, digit 5 and just divide it by how many digits are repeating? Only one digit is repeating. So just put one line under it and you will get the rational equivalent of 0 0.5 bar. Now pick up the calculators. Divide 5 by 9 and you will find that the answer the calculator shows is 0 0.5555555 and so on. Likewise, if the question is 0 0.23 bar, okay, now what's happening here? How many digits are repeating? Two digits are repeating. 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3 and so on. So what will happen here? Write 23 and now how many digits are repeating? Two digits. So write two nines. And now you can check. Just divide 23 by 99. Your answer will be 0 0.232323 and so on. Likewise, I can have three digits repeating. Maybe a 0 0.625 and all the three digits 625 are repeating. See, I am taking pure recurring decimals because everything after decimal is repeating or under the bar. So what will you do here? 625 and how many digits are repeating? 3. So 3 nines and that will give me the rational equivalent. But why should I take a 0, a 0 and a 0 here? There can be different numbers here. Now let's take the example of uh, another number such as 8.74 and both 7 and 4 are repeating. So again this is also a pure recurring decimal. So what do you do with this? See 8, okay, this is the first thing 8, the number before the decimal obviously is not going to change. 7, 4 bar. What did I do here? 0 0.23 bar. I wrote 23 by 99. So here I will write 74 by 99. And 8, 74 by 99, which is the mixed number or a mixed fraction, will, is actually the rational form. The next thing is you can convert it directly in the form of uh, an improper fraction. You know how to do that, right? 8 times 99 plus 74 in the numerator and divide by 99. So you can write like that also, convert it into an improper fraction. Likewise, suppose you have a question where I have to do 127.6 bar and so only 6 is repeating. So how do I do this? 127 and 6 by because a single digit is repeating so 9 and 6 by 9 we all know is 2 third and therefore the rational equivalent is 127 2 third or you can convert it in the form of an improper fraction. So this is direct method of converting the pure recurring decimals to rational form. But what will happen if we have the mixed numbers or the mixed recurring decimals. So let's take an example of 0 0.18 and only 8 repeating itself. Now see 0 0.18 bar. Now be careful here the rule is going to change. For this the short trick is take the entire number 18 subtract the number which is not under the bar after decimal. Subtract the number which is not under the bar that is 1 and divided by, now this is important, what to write in the denominator. So on the right hand side of the decimal you have two digits, right? So we will have a two digit number here, okay? How many digits are under the bar? One digit and one digit is not under the bar. So write a 9 and a 0, okay? Now I tell you how to manipulate this. Let's 
finish this. This is seven, uh, 17 by 90. You divide 17 by 90, you will get 0 0.18888 eight, 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 and so on. Right. Now let's understand this in a better manner with, by taking a different example. Suppose you have 0 0.63 and 217 and 217 is under the bar. Now watch. What did I tell you? After decimal, the entire number 63217 minus the number not under the bar 63 divided by. Now this is important. Divided by what? We will have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digit number here. Out of that, how many zeros? We have two digits which are not under the bar. So we will have two zeros and the remaining all digits will be the nines. And so your answer for the question will be, just take the difference, this is 4 and then we have the 5, the 1 and the 63 retains its place and the 99900. Zero, zero. I think uh, some common factor is getting cancelled here. 10, 18, 19, 63150 divided. Oh, this is the divisible by 2, right? So 3, 1, 5, 7, 7 divided by, uh, you can divide this by 3, 4, uh, 9, 9, 5, 0. This is the fractional, uh, the rational equivalent of this mixed recurring decimal. Let's understand this more example 7.00. Now we have two zeros and these zeros are not going to repeat. Okay, so say 213. Okay, and 213 is under the bar. So what did I tell you? Before decimal, the number is not going to change. So it will be a mixed number. The answer will be a mixed number. So 7. What do you do with this? 213 is the number after decimal complete thing. Minus what? the number which is not under the bar in this case it is 0 divided by how many digits will be there in the denominator 1 2 3 4 5 5 decimal places out of which 2 are not under the bar so 2 zeros and 3 nines right so what does this become 7 213 over 99900 now this particular fraction which I have written here, this can actually be converted right? because this is divisible by 3, both are divisible by 3. So I can write this as 7 and then 71, 71 and 33300. Three, three, so that works and you can check now, 71 divided by 3330 will be 0 0.00213213213 and so on. One more example and then we will conclude, maybe let's take 15.163 and 3 repeating, right? So what did I tell you? It will be a mixed number because we have a 15 here. So 15, what? 163 minus the number not under the bar is 16 divided by 3 digits, 2 not under the bar, so 0, 0 and a 9. The number of zeros here will be equal to the number of digits after decimal which are not under the bar. So it is 900. So what is the answer? 15 and this is 147 over 900. I think this cancels by 3. So this is 15, uh, 3, 4 is 12 and 9, 49 by uh, 300. Now you can check the rational equivalent will be 15, 49 by 300. Now, very basic rule and you can actually crack all the problems based on this important concept of converting pure and mixed recurring decimals to rational form. Very important for class 9 students and very important for the number systems chapter of quant exams. Practice this and let me know in the comments did it benefit you and if it did do share it with all your friends so that they can also get benefit out of this important concept. All the best for your practice.